When it comes to managing a business, it can get overwhelming getting everything done. And oftentimes, entrepreneurs, even if they work on their own, will outsource their social media to someone. Someone who can create their graphics and maybe even post on their behalf. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a team within Canva. This will allow you to collaborate with multiple people on designs and potentially outsource your designs with ease within the Canva website itself. If you are not a member of my VIP vault, which is my epic resource library filled with cheat sheets, tutorials, checklists, and even stock photos for free, just go to LaShondaBrown.com or you can click on the link in my description. Without further ado, let's hop in. Even if you got your start using Canva with their free account, I want you to know that you actually have the ability to create a team now. So let's look at the differences between a free team and a Canva Pro team. Now, if we scroll down, just as a quick reminder, you have some free templates, you can create designs, and you can export designs as a PDF, a JPEG, or a PNG. You can also share and use presentation mode. After that, you will start to see with a free account, there are some abilities that are not available to you, like exporting designs as animated GIFs or MP4s, downloading designs with a transparent background, or one of my favorite features is the one-click design resize. So under design and publishing, those are the additional features that you get when you sign up for Canva Pro. So under the collaboration section of the Canva pricing page, you can see that the main difference between Canva free accounts and Canva Pro accounts is there is a limit to the amount of people that you can share with. You can share with up to nine people if you have a free account. So think about the size of your potential team. If nine people is sufficient, then maybe you don't need Canva Pro for that reason. However, if you want unlimited access to people you can share with, then I would upgrade to Canva Pro. Now, obviously, there are some other reasons why you could have Canva Pro, but I wanted you to realize that the ability to build a team on Canva is not set aside only for paid users. So if you collaborate with people all the time on things that you create in Canva, there is an easier way by creating a team. So we're gonna go back into Canva and when you click on the side, the last tab that you will see says create a team. Now here is what it has to say. Collaborate on designs and get feedback. Keep everyone's designs on brand. Share designs and uploads in one place and let your whole team experience our best tools with Canva Pro. So here's the deal. If you yourself are a Canva Pro user, when you share designs within your Canva account, when they open it on their account, whether they are Canva Pro or not, they will have the Canva Pro features. The best explanation of this is um, how you can upload brand colors. Creating a branding kit on Canva is set aside for Canva Pro users. So if you take the time to upload brand fonts and brand colors, if you are a Canva Pro user and you share that design, someone else can access those same fonts and colors, which I think is amazing. That makes sure that people are not having to manually upload all those colors and fonts every single time they want to create content. So all you need to do is add your members of the team here. So you would put their name and you would put their email address. Now you can add four more people for $24.95 or you can stick with the five here. So let me show you an example of a team. So a friend of mine has me um, create content for her hair salon. And so if I click on her team, here are some examples of things that we've designed. And so one of the biggest things that I would say is important is if I 
create a coupon like this and I want her to be able to see it on her account. Even if I'm signed into her team, here is something that you need to do. When you click on share, you have to make sure that the Vanquish brand can edit or view it. It does not default to showing what you create as part of the team portal. Had to learn that the long way. I would create stuff for her and say, hey, have you seen it? What did you think? And she's like, when I log in on my cell phone or on the desktop, I can't see what you've been creating. And it was because I had not actually shared the design. So that is the only tricky thing that I see with creating a team on Canva is that you have got to remember to manually go in design by design and decide how you want people to have access to your content. Do you want them to be able to edit it or do you just want them to be able to view it? Now you can also change it down here. You can say share a link to edit, share a link to view. You can see here share a link to use as a template is something that is blocked out because her Canva account is not a Canva Pro account. So even though I am a Canva Pro user, because the team was not created on a Canva Pro account, this feature is blocked out. The other thing that I want you guys to take note of is the ability to add comments. Now here's the deal. When I click on this design, I can add a comment here. And so this could be super helpful if you are collaborating and you want to know what does the boss think? What does the marketing director think? You can say, hey, would you be willing to drop some comments on the design to give me some feedback? This way you're not communicating via email, you're communicating directly on the design itself. So if I just said, here's my comment, I can click on comment there and I can delete the thread or I can even edit. Now that's not something that I typically use when I log into Canva because I'm not collaborating with other people, but I could see that as a benefit to Teams. The other thing that you can do is you can add a note to your design. So if for some reason you feel like there is something that you'd like to explain to give context to your design, feel free to add notes. Now, if I copy this, You'll notice all of a sudden it says page two and page one. If you are managing a team, I would name the pages in your design, whether it is cover page, title page, table of contents, so that people know exactly what you're talking about when you refer to those designs at a later date. The other thing to keep in mind is you can do a free trial of Canva Pro. So you will have those Canva Pro features, but when the trial expires, it will revert back to a Canva free account and those features will go away. So I just wanted to give you guys some insight about what it looks like to manage a team within Canva. I think it is a great way to stay on brand and keep your designs visually consistent. And I encourage you, if you are outsourcing anything design-wise in 2020, that you consider using this feature. So now grab a pen and paper and get ready for the secret word. The secret word is team. After watching this video, do you think that you will utilize the team feature of Canva in 2020? Are there fellow entrepreneurs or interns or people that you can collaborate with to create your designs? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I teach people how to grow their biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, to talk for now.